Hey, it's Brian with Old Man New Tech, and today we are checking out a portable magnetic golf Bluetooth speaker from a company called Civenci. I think it's Italian, maybe. Who knows? But anyways, uh, it provides you with 30 watts of audio power, and it's got a strong magnetic pull on the back that you can hook up to your golf cart, your ATV vehicle, whatever. So whatever's metallic, you can hook it up to. And we're going to run it through the Old Man New Tech Ringer. And if you could show the channel some support, head down below, give me a thumbs up, ring that little bell, and we'll bring more and more of these videos to you. And full disclosure, sometimes companies send me these products and sometimes I go out and buy them myself, but I always give you my honest review of all these products, including the pros and the cons. So you're gonna wanna stick around at the end of the video to see what the final verdict is on all the electronics that I review. Now let's get this bad boy out of the box. Hey, look at the bros on there. <laughs> okay, so we're checking out the portable magnetic Bluetooth golf speaker from Civenci, and the box is cool. Got some golf buddies on there, but I tell you what, this is not an unboxing video. Let's check out what's inside there. Okay, and surprisingly, we got a lot of stuff here, so let's check all this stuff out. First, I've got my USB-C charging cable. Check that out. Nice and long. I've also got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, in case we want to hardwire this to something. And then surprisingly, I've got an actual bracket that I can hook up to the upright on a golf cart or any sort of pole. See that there? That clamps around a pole and then the speaker actually mounts to this threaded head here. See that? Pretty cool. So this can come in handy if I don't have a magnetic surface to hook the speaker up to. And we got the user guide with our same golf bros on the front here. And we might want to hold on to this in case we buy two of these speakers because we can pair them together and I'm sure there are true wireless stereo instructions in here somewhere. So finally we have the speaker itself. It weighs a little over a pound. I've got uh, instructions on here in case I want to use this M key here for the multi-feature mode which I can disconnect from Bluetooth, switch between Bluetooth, uh, TF card, and AUX mode. And then also use that M button for pairing more than one speaker. But overall, I like the simple design. This red framing around here kind of lets you know which end is the front, which end's the back, and it makes it very stylish. I can kind of see two drivers in here. Now these are 15 watts a piece. And there's a passive radiator inside here, and that will provide me with some additional bass. We've got a rubberized casing around the speaker itself, which is flat black, but that's built to take some punishment as is the front of the speaker. That's a metal grate on there. On the side, I've got a built-in carabiner, and I like the fact that this mounts flush to the speaker so it doesn't stick out at all. On the back, I can actually see where the magnets are mounted, and I gotta tell you guys, these are strong magnets. You don't wanna get this near sensitive electronics. And on the side here, we have our access panel for our TF card, our auxiliary jack, and our USB. C charging port. All right, now that is a thick lid for this, and that is because this is an IPX7 speaker, which means we can submerge it. There's a slot for our TF card, and then we have our charging port, which is type C, and our aux in for our 3.5 millimeter jack. And we'll close that up real tight because we don't want to see any leakage. And on the top, we have the controls. I've got my power off and on, an extra bass button, which I'm a bass head, you guys know that. Uh, my mode key, as I talked about before, uh, down and up, that'll control my volume controls as well as track forward and backwards, and then play and pause. So that pretty much rounds out the speaker. It's a, it's a mini speaker and it is compact, feels solid, and I do actually like the design of it. Oh, I almost forgot, guys. I almost forgot the secrets hiding underneath this. Now, this you don't find on normal mini speakers. Check this out. For all you dads and moms out there who enjoy their brews or soda pops. Yeah, we say pop here in the north. This is a bottle opener. So they really thought of everything when they put this speaker together. So I do dig that design and we're gonna take that for a test drive later. Brilliant, brilliant. I mean, it's really impressive as far as all of the features built into the speaker. Now, let's hear how it sounds. 
All right, we're back and I've had a chance to take a look at the magnetic Bluetooth golf cart speaker from Chevenchi. And I gotta tell you, so far, I've been pretty impressed with this little speaker. I mean, it's a mini speaker, so it does have limitations as far as how loud it can get, but it's a good 30 watt sound. It's got some decent bass to it. And I do like the fact that it is built tough. It's Bluetooth 5.3, which means I get really good range with it. I can walk at least 100 feet away from the speaker with my phone in my pocket, which is gonna be great if you're on the golf course and you pull up on your golf cart, you got your phone in your pocket, the speaker's back at your golf cart, magnetically stuck to the side of your golf cart, and you're on the tee, you might be you know, a good 30, 40 feet away from your golf cart, and you wanna be able to listen to your tunes at the same time on your backswing. It's compact, it's built tough. Listen to that toughness there. And I was able to get a really good 12 to 20 hours out of it. That's playing it at a pretty loud volume, about 75% volume. Now, as I promised before, I was gonna test out the bottle opener on the bottom, which you don't find these on Bluetooth speakers, guys. But the bottle opener does work, I can verify that. I managed to open up a, uh, we'll just say a brew, and uh, it took the bottle cap off just fine. Now, speaking of innovations, the two magnets on the back of this thing are pretty strong, and I don't know how you rate magnets, but I was able to stick this thing to just about anything in my house, and also on my friend's ATV. I tell you what, the more steel there is in the surface that you're mounting this to, the harder it's gonna stick, and it's very strong, so, I would be careful if you're gonna set this next to a computer hard drive. I don't know what effect that will have. Frankly, I don't wanna find out. And the speaker is IPX7, and even though it's compact, it only weighs about, uh, about one and a quarter pound. But hey, all these cool features don't mean a thing if it doesn't sound great. So let's turn this on, sync it up, and see what it sounds like. Now one thing you'll notice that when you do start it up, you're gonna see it as melody flow on your device. So let's hit the power button. And we're synced. Here we go. All right, we're gonna turn up the volume here. The volume is easy to find on the top, although I wish they would have painted the keys so I could see them a little bit better. All right. Now let's hear that bass. All right, you're also gonna notice an extra bass key on here, and we're gonna press that button and see what happens. Whoa! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna pause that for a second because that could be a little bit overwhelming for the microphones here, but I'm gonna take this outdoors so we can get a better listen because you're gonna be using this speaker outdoors, but inside, it's very impressive, especially when you hit that extra bass button. I'm a bass head, I like bass. I'm glad they have that option on there. Okay, so I'm able to take the Chevenchi speaker and I'm able to hook it to just about anything metal, even uh, even my disc golf uh, setup here. Whoa, it's strong. So I do like the sound of it outside. I'm getting a lot of bass, but hey, let's turn it up all the way. Okay, that's up all the way right now. So I can get pretty far away and I'm still getting decent bass. Let's get back to the studio. Okay, we're back from the outdoors and the Javenchi Bluetooth golf cart waterproof speaker passed with flying colors as far as sound goes. I mean, it sounds great. Uh, the sound is face forward, so you're not really getting that uh, passive radiator that a lot of these speakers put on the backs of their units. The passive radiator is in the front, so all the sound's coming forward, which it's supposed to. So I've got 30 watts of power, and it sounds every bit of 30 watts. It's got decent bass, especially when you hit that extra bass button on top. So I really do enjoy the sound out of this for a mini speaker. You're not gonna find a better sounding speaker. So the sound outdoors sounds, like I said before, excellent. It's got deep bass, it's got crisp highs. It does tend to break up a little bit when you turn it up to 100% volume with like, um, you know, heavier music like EDM or rock. But uh, I tell you what, it sounds crisp, clear, and you won't be disappointed with the sound. But you're starting to wonder, hey old man, is it really waterproof? Well, let me tell you, went outdoors and I performed the waterproof test already 
and I brought it back inside and it did pass with flying colors, but hey, you want to see this for yourself. All right, it's time for the old man new tech water test. We always try to do this in the lake when we can. Still not quite warm water yet, but we're going to try it out. All right, it disconnected and then reconnected. Interesting, but it's working fine. Check that out. <laughs> All right, how'd you like that? So we tested it, it passed with flying colors. The one thing I will make note of, and this will show up in my cons, and it's a minor gripe, but it's something that's very important that you're gonna want, want to make note of, because if you do take this out on a boat, you're gonna wanna hook a flotation device up to it if you're not gonna attach it to anything, because it does not float. When I dropped it in the water, I don't know if you guys picked up on that or not, but it sunk to the bottom of the lake. But other than that, when I took it out, it works fine. I dried it off and it's still playing music. I'll tell you what, we're gonna roll right into my final thoughts and give you my recommendations. I am gonna recommend getting the Javenchi Bluetooth portable golf speaker. And I'll tell you why, because the pros outweigh the cons by a long shot. The pros are, it's a tough build, it sounds great. It's got a freaking bottle opener on the bottom and I've got a ton of mounting options, including a carabiner, a mounting bracket, and those powerful magnets on the back. The sound is great. I really enjoy the bass that it offers with that extra bass button, and the build quality is awesome. I mean, it's a very dense speaker. But speaking of dense, that kind of rolls me into the cons. And these are minor cons, but there's some things that you want to watch out for, especially if you're going to take this on open water. The speaker does not float, so you got to make sure that if you do have it on a boat, that you hook a flotation device up to it. Also, and this is a minor gripe and something that I notice on these budget Bluetooth speakers, is that the buttons on the control panel are not illuminated, nor are they painted, or at least outline painted, so that you can see them a little bit easier when it gets a little bit darker out. But those are minor cons. I tell you what, overall, I think this is a really cool speaker. It would make a great present, say for Father's Day or for those golfers in your life. And I have no choice but to give it a big buy now recommendation. So I'm shooting some links down below if you wanna purchase the Chivenchi portable Bluetooth golf speaker. But with that recommendation to buy, I'm gonna be heading outdoors and having some fun with this speaker. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, this is Brian with Old Man New Tech. We can't make this channel happen without you, so please hit subscribe and smash that bell down below. And if you're looking for product links, you'll find them there too. Thank you. Thank you.